Bismillahirrahman Rahim. In previous video, I discussed alpha terpeniol eterpenoid, its structural elucidation and synthesis. And in today's lecture, I will discuss camphor. It is also a terpenoid and belongs to monoterpene class and chemically it is monoterpene ketone. As other terpenoids are obtained from plant essential oil, this is also obtained from the oil of Senna Momum Camphora, commonly called as camphor laurel tree. It can also be obtained from other camphor trees. So mostly and common source is this tree. And from the leaves of this tree uh, through the steam distillation, we can isolate it. So if we see the physical properties, it is transparent white solid with melting point 176. It has fragrant and penetrating odor, almost insoluble in water, but it is soluble in organic solvents. If we see the uses or application, it is used in drug because of its analgesic action and used in expectorants as it removes the congestion of the lungs and it is also used in skin ointments. So, it is also used in moth repellents. It is also used to form nitrocellulose plastic due to its fragrant fragrance. It is also used in perfumes and it is also used in antimicrobial substances. So, let's see its structural elucidation. Mass spectroscopic and elemental analysis shows that its molecular formula is C10 at 16 O and from mass spectroscopy its exact mass is also calculated. Infrared spectroscopic analysis shows that it absorbs 1710 per centimeter wave number which is characteristic uh, wave number of carbonyl group. It indicates that in camphor carbonyl group is present. Uh, when we perform test for unsaturation, camphor do not add bromine or hydrogen, which indicate that there is no carbon-carbon double bond or pi bond present between carbon atoms. What kind of oxygen is present as indicated through the infrared spectroscopy? So we perform confirmatory test for the carbonyl group when camphor is treated with hydroxylamine in the presence of acid as catalyst. So we obtain oxime derivatives. Similarly, when camphor is treated with phenyl hydrazine, we obtain hydrozone derivative because uh, hydroxylamine and phenyl hydrazine, these are only condensed or show reaction with those compound which contain carbonyl groups. So it indicates presence of carbonyl group. So there are two types of carbonyl groups. Aldo group in the form of formyl, other keto group. So which kind of carbonyl group is present? So when camphor is treated with Tollens reagent, then no silver mirror obtained are no reaction, no products because Tollens reagent is a weak oxidizing agent. It only oxidizes aldehyde, but it cannot oxidize the ketonic group present in the camphor. It indicates that there is no aldo group is present. When camphor is treated with hydrogen, then secondary alcoholic group is obtained. In previous classes, we have studied that aldehyde upon reduction give primary alcohol and ketone upon reduction give secondary alcohol. So, uh, formation of secondary alcoholic group shows that the camphor contain ketonic group. So, ketonic group is identified as ketones upon reduction give secondary alcohol. How many rings or cycles are present in this structure when camphor is hydrogenated then after addition of two hydrogen atom its molecular formula becomes C10H18 which obey this general formula and this is the general formula of bicyclic compound. Okay, if we see the arrangement of carbon atom or carbon skeleton how the carbon atoms are arranged in camphor we treat 
camphor with zinc chloride and heat it. Dehydration and dehydrogenation takes place. The bond between these two carbons are broken and we get paracymine which indicate that carbon skeleton present in camphor is just like arrangement present in paracymine. So when camphor undergo oxidation as we have studied that carbonyl when uh, react with strong oxidizing agent they undergo oxidation and this carbonyl group is changed into carboxyl group. The carbon adjacent to the carbonyl group also undergo oxidation and we get dicarboxylic acid which is called as camphoric acid. Structural elucidation of camphoric acid shows that the structure of camphor is like this. If we move reverse to this reaction then camphoric acid it shows that structure of camphor is like this. Camphoric acid upon further oxidation gives camphoronic acid a tricarboxylic acid and structural elucidation of camphoronic acid shows that it is formed from the oxidation of camphoric acid and structural elucidation of camphoric acid shows that it forms from this structure. So all of these eight essential tests shows that the structural formula of camphor is this. Now we see the synthesis. There are many methods to synthesize camphor. I will use common method from alpha pinene. When alpha pinene is treated with HCl, then HCl is added in these two carbons and we get pinene hydrochloride. It undergo wagner mervin rearrangement and we get this structure which upon reaction in two steps first sodium acetate then in acetic acid followed by addition of sulfuric acid we get this structure which upon reaction with sodium hydroxide or we can use alkoxide base then acetic acid is removed and we get isoborneol. Isoborneol as it contains hydroxyl group and we have studied that hydroxyl group upon oxidation give carbonyl group. So this isoborneol upon oxidation it gives camphor. So camphor can also be uh, right with this structure. So this is all about structural elucidation synthesis few of uses and thank you very much.